today I'm going to be doing a video on some of the questions that you guys have asked me on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at veganbelowzero. So, um, I'm gonna kind of go rapid fire through these. What school did I go to? So I went to Palomar College and Miracosta College, which are community colleges for the first two years of school. And then the last two years of school, I went to University of California in San Diego, UCSD, and I studied ecology. What is your favorite book? This is a non-science book, but my favorite book is Slouching Towards Bethlehem by Joan Didion. What is your favorite animal? So my favorite animal, land animal is cougars and ocean animal is orcas. Are you married? So no, I do have a long-term boyfriend of six years, Rob, who's in one of my videos, I think, but uh, no, we're not married. What was my GPA in school? So I graduated with a 3.0, which is not the best GPA in the world. I interned and worked a lot, so I didn't get the best grades, but yeah. What are your career aspirations? So my career, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at right now, but I think if I was gonna say like my career goals for the long term is I wanna work a little bit more with species at risk and like helping protect them. Like I do that through my job now, but I'm not like on a dedicated team of species at risk endangered species biologists. So I think I would want to do that. What made you decide to start a YouTube channel? So I actually started this channel to make vegan recipes and uh, my Vegan Below Zero Instagram page, I made to post photos of the food that I was eating because um, I was bored one winter when I wasn't working much. So it's evolved to be a much more of a wildlife channel after I posted my video, Day in the Life of a Wildlife Biologist. Um, it kind of just blew up and people were more interested in wildlife than they were veganism. And there's already so many vegan channels that um, I turned this into a wildlife channel. Are you ever going back to California? So I was born and raised in California and ever since I moved to Canada, um, I've gone back and visited California, but I probably am never going to move back there. Um, it's a big combination of factors. It's like the political situation and I really love Canada and I love, you know, the universal healthcare and like eight, up to 18 months of childcare leave with my job. And I really don't think I could go back to California unless it was like a situation where I'm retiring maybe, but I'm still back home all the time, multiple times a year. How many plants do I have? probably over a hundred, so. Do you have a pet? Yes, he is in a background a lot of my videos. Tiger, he's a little orange cat and he's turning nine years old this month. Sorry, quick change of scenery. Favorite place I've ever worked would be Bolivia or Alaska. I'm like kind of torn between the two. Who did you vote for in the 2016 election? I voted for Jill Stein with the Green Party. If anyone's gonna get on me about voting for third party, I voted out of California, which was a solid blue state anyway. How do you know you wanted to be a wildlife biologist? So I always grew up loving animals. Like I became vegetarian by choice when I was like 10 or 11 or something. And I just loved farm animals. We always had a bunch of farm animals around that I would take care of. So I always like from that young age really liked like wildlife. I had actually been doing pre-med, um, but I switched to ecology when I had a course that I really liked, where the professor was just like really captivating, was my ecology course. So I changed from pre-med to ecology. Wildlife specifically, I wanted to study after going to Bolivia and working with rescued cougars. That really just turned me on to a wildlife career, and that was about two years into school, so I switched into wildlife and ecology a bit late. What job did you want to be growing up? Probably the first thing was a nurse because my mom was a nurse, an engineer because my dad was an engineer. I wanted to be a, a movie director for a little bit and then I decided I wanted to be an epidemiologist and go to medical school, which I wanted to do for the first year or so of university. And that's why I switched out of microbiology into ecology, like I talked about in my previous question. So did you volunteer or intern every summer in school? So my first two years, I did no volunteer work and no internships because I didn't even know what career I was gonna go into. At the end of my second year that summer, I did a internship in Bolivia where I worked with the Cougars. And then for the last two years of university, I worked at the same place um, with the municipal government working on wildlife there and I worked part-time in school with it like during the school year and then I worked full-time in the summers. 
Are you religious? Nope. Are you vegan? Yes. What do you wish you did differently in your career? I really go back and forth of whether or not I should have done a master's degree because there is a lot of wildlife specialist positions that require a minimum of a master's degree. Um, you know, I'm talking about like the entire state's expert on carnivores, like those really high up levels. You know, a master's degree doesn't guarantee those jobs very far from it, but it does kind of set the ceiling on how high you can go. So I don't even know if I would want to work a job with that much responsibility, but sometimes I uh, do wish that I did my master's degree. What science class do you hate the most? Chemistry. Um, I don't hate it. Like I probably hated calculus more, but I really didn't enjoy chemistry. Who is your favorite YouTuber? So my favorite YouTuber is Ellen Fisher. I would say she was my favorite non science uh, YouTuber. My favorite science YouTuber, there's not very many because I'm the best science YouTuber. So I don't have a favorite yet. I watched Maria from C and Me. That's about it. What is your ancestry? My mom is Mexican and my dad is British. Yeah. What is your favorite science documentary? I like An Inconvenient Truth and Cowspiracy. How much money do you make off of YouTube? Probably like a hundred bucks a month just on ad revenue, which is nice because I mean it doesn't recoup my time But like I, at least I bought this camera for YouTube. So at least I can slowly pay that off Do you ever regret studying wildlife? No, honestly, I do the only time I did regret it was when I was unemployed for a year um, out of Calgary when the oil and gas industry wasn't very good and I couldn't get a job for a year, I actually looked into studying engineering and going to school to be an engineer, but luckily I got a wildlife job before I went back to school and um, I didn't do that. All right, those are all my questions. If you have any other questions you want me to answer, leave a comment down below and I will try to get to them. I have a bunch of other interesting videos on my channel about wildlife, career, my life, all of that. So you can click the next video that's gonna be shown to you right here. And thank you for watching.